I'm pleased to welcome Katie Voglio from the Palm Springs Animal Shelter here to talk about the need for kitten fosters. And you've got a tiny little guy there, Firecracker, who is being fostered and, and you have a need for these volunteers. Yes, we have a large need for volunteers who are willing to take on bottle feeding kittens and underage kittens this time of the year in the Coachella Valley. We see hundreds, not only us, but the other animal welfare organizations that are in the valley. Um, and as you can see, look, you can sit here. It takes no effort whatsoever, right? But looks pretty easy. It's easy peasy. And you guys make it very easy because you provide all the supplies, correct? If someone volunteers to be a foster, you're going to provide them with the, the kitten formula and all all of the stuff that they need to make sure this kitten grows up safe. Yeah, we want you to be successful. That's the goal. And we, the goal is to get these kittens um, old enough to spay and neuter them and find them their forever homes. Um, so Palm Springs Animal Shelter does uh, provide you with the bottles, the formula, the scales, um, all of the medical care. Our medical team works closely with our fosters to make sure the kittens are healthy and gaining the weight they should be gaining. So yeah, we want it to be as easy as possible for you so you can continue to foster and continue to help us save lives. He is so cute. Name is Firecracker because he was found around the 4th of July. Yes, yeah, he was found at two days old, so he looks two humongous now. Um, but he was barely fit in the palm of my hand. He was so little, and um, now he's grown to be a big boy. And he's almost done with his bottle, and he'll be eating on his own soon enough. Um, and then in about four more weeks, he'll be available for adoption. That's fantastic. And we were talking about this. Sometimes people find kittens... Uh, that may appear to be abandoned, but that's not necessarily the case. And you don't always recommend that people intervene. Yes, um, call us. We'll give you advice. If you think it's a, a hard situation or you haven't seen mom in a while, um, we have advice for you. We want kittens to stay with their mom. She knows best. We don't. Um, so just remember that. Keep that in mind when you're making a decision to take small little lives. It's easier for mom and uh, nature to take care of those lives than it is for humans. Um, so yeah, definitely we will guide you through that process and figure out what is best for those kittens. Uh, and obviously the need is we're in the middle of kitten season, so the need is quite high. <laughs> Folks can uh, just go right to your website and find information about volunteering, number of opportunities, including uh, foster care. Yes, foster care, um, coming into the shelter and helping us with the kittens that are in the shelter. There's tons of opportunity to come help save a life and be a part of that journey. Okay, let me put up the information. If you're interested, go to psanimalshelter.org. They have the volunteer section and you can fill out the application and then their foster coordinator will contact you and begin the onboarding process. Uh, very important because obviously they take a lot of specialized care, but you guys are going to coach everybody through this and make it easy for the kitten and for the foster. Correct. It is not hard, and we stand by that, and we just want to be here to help you as you can help us. Katie, thank you so much for being on today. Thank you. Oh, and thank you, Firecracker. <laughs>